Hello everyone. Today is Tuesday, January 3rd. This is my third video in my new series. I had hoped to have more than three videos so far, but between moving different places and microphone setups and audio testing and learning video and audio production tricks and all that, um, it's taken a while. So I've decided that I'm suffering from what StarCraft players call ladder anxiety. Ladder is what StarCraft players play competitively against each other. You know, sort of a ranking type thing. In StarCraft, which is a very difficult 1v1 game, um, psychologically, people can sort of psych themselves out and get too worried about losing or looking stupid or whatever. And... They just don't play or don't play very often. And I've suffered from that before. I eventually got over it, but I had to play a lot of StarCraft and sort of change my attitude. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Instead of worrying about trying to make a perfect video, which is never going to happen, and getting stuck like I did in the last video where I did 70-some takes in a row and then threw all that away because it wasn't good enough. Instead, I'm going to switch things around Instead of making one video every two or three weeks, I'm going to try to make a thousand videos this year in 2024. Make a thousand videos. Some will be better than others. Some will be longer than others. Some days I might make one video and I'll be short. Other days and maybe I'll make an epic video. Sometimes I might have guests. Sometimes I might be solo. Sometimes it might just be Emacs and you don't see my face. Sometimes it may just be my face. But I'm just going to make a lot of videos just like I've given a lot of talks. I used to be a public school teacher. And one of the things that I learned from running a summer camp, being a summer, um, you know, summer camp counselor, being a public school teacher, uh, teaching in graduate school and so forth, is that over a long period of time, I just became more and more comfortable. And I also through a friend, Josh Hurley, notice that if you always agree to give talks when people are looking for a speaker and they can't find someone, or if someone asks you if you give a talk, if you always say yes, then you end up giving a lot of talks and you become more comfortable with things. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a thousand videos this year, or at least attempt to, and I'm trying to not do 70 takes. I'm trying not to do that sort of thing. I'm Maybe I'll just make a thousand videos. I'll have at least a thousand takes if I make a thousand videos. And over time, hopefully I'll figure out what works for me. Also, I've set up a Discord server, which uh, was a request from uh, some people in the previous video, which is a great idea, I think. Unfortunately, currently I'm the only person on my Discord server. So I hope you'll join me if you're interested. I'm trying to keep it small right now, not in terms of small people watching this video, but I don't particularly want to deal with all the problems that happen when you open up a forum to the entire internet and it's discoverable, which is, there are issues that I've run into in the past. Um, so figure, grow slowly. So if you're interested in joining the, the Discord server to talk about programming language -y things and, you know, things I'm interested in and uh, the sort of things I talk about in these videos, please just email me. It's not hard to find my email address. I'm Webberd. And you can uh, join the Discord server, which is called the Imperishable Wonderland of Infinite Fun, which is inspired by Toho Project, if you know what that is. One of my loves. So, Imperishable Wonderland of Infinite Fun is currently inhabited only by me. I hope it'll be inhabited by other people. What else do I want to do this year other than make a thousand videos and figure out how to use Discord? Well, I want to make a bunch of types of videos. Originally, I definitely wanted to make sort of an intro series to what is programming languages, all those sorts of things. Still plan to do that. At the same time, I'm actively involved in a bunch of types of research and there are a bunch of things I'm trying to learn. So one thing I'm trying to learn is something called uh, reversible computing. It's a very, very interesting 
type of programming and special hardware programming languages, virtual machines, so forth, are all involved in reversible computing. And I'm very interested to figure out how reversible computing might be connected to the relational programming work that I like to do. So that's one thing I wanna learn. And, and when I say learn, I mean read papers, implement code, play around with programming languages, talk to people in the community. Another thing I'm interested in doing is my friend Michael Ballantyne convinced me that as far as program synthesis goes, using mini Canron for program synthesis, like in the Barleman um, relational interpreter and tool, that we're giving up a lot of power. And that probably we should revisit. And uh, there's space for a new language, a new relational language, where there's a much better distinction between the declarative specification of the language written down in terms of formal semantics, maybe in terms of judgments like typing judgments, logical judgments, and the control or tactics or search. And so Michael's example is you might be able to implement things like Peter Michael or Sarah's uh, myth system for synthesis using bottom-up evaluation, bottom-up enumerative search for some of the relations that are specified, or maybe for this other relation, you want a depth-first search. Maybe you want to do a neural-guided search for part of the relation. There could be all sorts of different approaches you might take, and this also goes back to the original vision that uh, Robert Kowalski had, I think, in terms of how logic programming could be done, where you have a separation between the logical specification and the control. So that was one of the ideas that Kowalski pushed, and that was also one of the ideas that I think uh, Dan Friedman wanted the original versions of Canron to have, uh, so the students could just write down semantics, and somehow some magic happened, and the semantics are executable, and you can play with them. In many Canron, we ended up partly because we're focused on implementation, sort of combining those two ideas, maybe a little more than necessary. So I think it's an interesting idea to try to revisit a relational language where there is more of a separation. Obviously, Chow Prolog, for example, has at least some of this. There've been other attempts to separate logical specification from control, but I think we have enough experience in the mini Canron community now with sort of our, our own way of doing things that probably we can have our own take on that sort of language. So that's another thing I wanna work on from a research standpoint. And there are also a whole bunch of open issues and relational programming that I've wanted to talk about publicly, sort of enumerate some of those issues and you know, talk about them in detail. So that's something I'd like to do. And also I want to talk about skills like writing a paper, editing paper. Right now I'm editing a paper, uh, giving a talk, preparing to give a talk and the actual process of giving a talk. Right now I'm preparing to give a talk as well. Planning a course, teaching a course, organizing a workshop. I've been involved in organizing two workshops that I hope will be held uh, this, this year. Meeting people at conferences, all those sorts of things. Also community building type things, you know, organizing a, a workshop could be part of that. Also, I'd like to talk about mini Canron programming and relational programming and techniques for that, for those sorts of programming. And Medi Canron, talk about precision medicine and drug discovery and things, things of that nature in the context of the Medicanron software that we've been developing and have conversations with friends. So those are things I would like to do. And uh, so in order to encourage me to make lots of videos and not get stuck with ladder anxiety or video anxiety, I am going to create a number of playlists. So I'm going to produce lots of videos, make lots of videos, but I'm not going to make a whole bunch of videos in a row probably on any one topic. I will 
you know, make a video based on what I'm interested in or what I've been thinking about or something I, I, I have something to say right then. Uh, so these playlists will slowly fill up or quickly fill up. Um, and, you know, so if I make a couple videos on one topic and then I switch to another, that's not because I've forgotten about the other topic. It's because I want to keep making videos and I have lots of things that I want to say about different topics. And, you know, some sometimes the videos won't be so great. I apologize for that. I'd rather make a video that has a chance of not being great because I can go back and make another video or try to improve it, clarify myself, or or maybe I'll learn something and then I can make the video better. So that's it for today, at least for this video. Maybe I'll make another video tonight. I'm behind a few days at least. I've, I've uh, lots of videos to make, so maybe I'll make more videos tonight. But in any case, that's the plan. And if you're interested in joining the Discord server, the imperishable wonderland of infinite fun, it'd be great to have someone other than myself on, on that Discord server. Thank you, and hope to talk to you soon.